KTB. And we're back, yay! Episode 14, I believe. Let's <laughs> Just go. checked. But last episode, I said it was the wrong episode the whole time. So hopefully, this is episode 14. In fact, it's the first one of the year. Yeah. We skipped January. It is now yeah. February 5th, and we're recording episode 14. Maybe. Yep. Hopefully. I think. Yeah. Ain't shit really happened in January. So <laughs> I don't think we missed anything. Well, some we? stuff did happen in January. Did we? You, I it, debuted as a host, ring announcer, GM. You oh yeah won Superstar of the Year 2022 for Metro Pro. Congratulations! Thank you. Can't Thank clap. you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, someone had something to say about that. Who? That's for the thing later. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's the thing we talked about. Well, um, yeah, but yeah, I didn't expect to win that, and I feel I feel super fucking bad because like. When I won the award, mm -hmm. so I thought it was a work the entire fucking time. So I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm talking shit to all the fans. And, like, I do this whole lap around the ring. And I get in the ring. And he hands me the award. And then I fucking look. And I'm like, oh, fuck. It's okay, My though. name's on it's this. It's okay, though. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm like, damn. Reaction. I'm like, damn, I didn't know I fucking shoot won the award. I was like, well, this could go to anybody else easily. So that's your second, you won two awards in 2022, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah. far, because people are still handing out awards. Speaking of that, we will be handing out some KTV awards mm -hmm. in just a few moments. But uh, UPW Tag Team of the Year, yeah, Metro yeah. Pro Wrestling Superstar of the Year, Wrestler of the Year. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Even with a broken ankle, ankle yeah. early in the year, one half of, or at the time, one half of KTV was out and then we ended the year with one half of KTB out. Uh, but I get this off on the 16th of this month. I found dope. that out. And I, I did wrestle with it because I, I, I'm I kind of too addicted. It's not, oh, it's no, not I, a smart I, decision. I feel you. We were still going to go to DPW after I broke my ankle. Yeah, that's like, yeah, we're too addicted. But at least we're yeah. addicted to wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to tell you, I went to the House of Truth, and Sean Tyler apologized to me. He said, "Really?" He said he owed me an apology, and he apologized for how he treated me in class. Is this like a work? No, I'm being serious. Really? Yeah. Oh well, good on him. <laughs> yep, yep. That's actually dope. Yep. Okay, it was really nice. It was really nice. So now you know. There's only two people that I really dislike in this business. <laughs> and joking. we're gonna list that, that part. That part. I'll list and you. we're gonna list them off right now. No, I don't hold grudges. So like, I don't. I don't. Some people that you know wronged me in the past. If enough time go by, I don't care about them anymore. That's fair. I mean, me and Max didn't used to get along. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. It didn't last that long though. We yeah. only didn't go off for like four months or something. Yeah. But that's a that's story. That's longer than some of our title reigns. <laughs> that's a story for a different time, though. But um, you had something that you teased that earlier oh. that you were going to tell me about. Oh, yeah. So. F you F happened, F by the way. No yeah. Mark. Je no. What was it? Mark? No Mark. Mark. Uh, fuck. Mark. Mark Vengeance. With I two he, E's. I thought he got married. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so I went to FU, you know, I didn't wrestle, just managed, yeah. and you know, I guess we have to bring up the whole, uh, sheepy thing. Oh, we might oh as right, well. right. So, so at FU, uh, they Because we were directly involved in that. So these, oh god, we, that is something to talk about actually, I completely, I didn't make notes or nothing for this one except yeah, the awards. Yeah, we, we have like we awards. We plan on doing the awards. But other than that, we don't have notes, so but, um, we're sorry. So at FU, we were scheduled. I was scheduled to be inside of a triple threat match, uh, still with the broken wrist. <laughs> and he was scheduled inside of a trios match, where it was those him, Jason DeMilo, and D. Hendrick. Shouts out to them versus Sheepy. We found out, or I found out, uh, a couple weeks before the show that Sheepy quit. That's what the person to Jeremiah told me that Sheepy quit. So. They weren't going to do their match. They were out. We are going to do a segment where we got the titles back. Yada, yada. I still had a triple threat. And I started thinking as, you know, days went on. I'm like, well, there's 
three other people in this group, and I'm the one with the broken wrist. So why would I wrestle when I could just easily have one of them replace me, right? So I picked my replacement, but that still meant that three of us did not do anything on the show. A day before the show, I got a message from Sheepy, who apologized. He said, no ill will. Uh, Jeremiah doesn't want to pay me, but I, I can say that because Jeremiah did want to, that he did a new system. He tested yeah. out this new system. Where Which, to be fair, he did tell people about beforehand yeah so it wasn't like a super brand new thing because at the meeting at the last show he did say it he, he did, did say, say he was doing it so everybody gets ten dollars and once you come in you once a fan comes in they pre-sale they can say the hashtag mine was hashtag forever mine was hashtag top gonna and then you present that and for every single ticket we get paid more for based on that yeah. um so i guess sheepy didn't like that system he just wanted his rate which i think is very fair yeah it is it is because like it's the system you either like it or you don't and either like you know. yeah we have our issues with it but that's a story for another time but anyways so you know i the show went along and like i thought it was good like everyone was rocking in their matches i watched heather and marcus wrestle i had fun being a part of that I got to do my little pose with Heather over Marcus, and I thought that was awesome. And then, like, the end of the night comes along, and, like, this is... We get done celebrating the main event. We've been on top the whole show. All we do is fucking win. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'm feeling pretty good because we've had a good night. So I go to Jeremiah to get, you know, my shit. And I'm like, yeah, like... I already know nobody came to see me because, you know, I, I didn't have shit to advertise. I wasn't being a dick, but I was like, yeah, I know I got a solid $10, brother. This is the first time I'm hearing this story, by the way. He teased telling me yeah, this, this earlier, and I was this. like, oh, I want to hear this on a podcast. So just so y'all know, I'm, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah, story. so I know that, like, I didn't have shit to advertise because I was just there. So, like... I, I wasn't being a dick or nothing. I wasn't trying to, at least. And, like, I'm like, yeah, I know I got a solid $10. And then he started saying something, and I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. And then, like... What is this it, something? No, because <laughs> that that's a, a precursor, because then it takes a switch, and, like, he starts going off, and he's like, I know just because you won Wrestler of the Year, yada, 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 blah, 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 you think, like, you know, like, you're so good, but, like, so... One thing he said, which I had a huge problem with, he's like, oh, yeah, like, you were better, b like, before you broke your ankle. Like, you were <laughs> way better. Fuck. You were way better. And he said this Holy to fuck. my face. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, I'm sorry, are, are we, like, are, is there, like, an issue here? And, like, he's telling me, it's like, yeah, because you won, you know, one award at one promotion. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, all right. Like, okay. You said okay. Like, you, you no, said I didn't say okay. shit. I didn't say shit because <laughs> at this point, I was so fucking mad. I turned to Mark, like, I'm like, all right. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure I just bypassed that. I said, all right. I turned to Marcus. Well, I'm did like, you get $10 or did you get more? Oh, he ended up giving me, like, ten. But, yeah, so, anyways, I turn to Marcus, and I'm like, all right, get your money. Heather, I'll see you later. And I go to fucking leave. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, And then he starts compliment me, complimenting me. And he's like, oh, I think you're the future, and this and that. And I'm like, oh, fucking, why did you just bury everything I've ever done in front of, like, in front of people, in front of all of my friends, just completely buries Every account, like, not every accomplishment <laughs> ever, but, you know, one of the ones that meant a lot to me because I came back after that broken ankle and, like, a lot of people thought I was done for the year. And, you know, it meant a lot to me, but, oh, fuck me, I guess, for winning that award because I didn't draw shit for that show because I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> All right, I'm laughing at you explaining this. Not and because, the situation. like... Like, you know, I know he was telling the truth and he meant what he said. And that's the thing where I was like, all right, man. Like, you know, I'm not saying that I do a lot for him because I don't by any means. But, like, it's just like, you remember that FU show in Kalamazoo? It was like two hours away. And it was like, you know, I like I was there. Like, I was on both of those shows. And it's like, you know, I, I, I feel like, you know, I do a decent amount there. But, like, you know, I just would appreciate if I wouldn't get fucking 
buried in front of people before I get my pay. Alright. I don't know. That might be controversial. I don't know. You might have to cut that. Oh, we go. Here we go. <laughs> I don't but care. Like, I will it's say, just fucking... So I will say, like, I, I was on the phone with Jeremiah a couple hours ago, and then oh, we did God. bring up uh, you. He said, yeah, my storyline with Max, that I bury it over. I hate him. But that's... We'll get back to that. But then we kept talking, and we never got back to that. So I, now I guess this is the story of what happened. But I, what I will say is, it was F you. It was the end of the night. Everyone of age was drunk, intoxicated, I wasn't. not sober. Everyone of uh, age. Okay. Everyone of age. Hey, I'm 20. <laughs> of age. Everyone of age. Uh, so, you know, that all of what he said, don't take it seriously. It probably wasn't true. I mean, something he told me at the end of the night. Was Isn't said, the thing that when you're drunk, you tell the truth? Well, something he told me. Well, maybe it's the opposite for Jeremiah. Because what he told me. Because he didn't was, stutter once when I, he said this. What I'm he, sorry. What he but told like, me was that, hey, you're killing it. You're one of the top ten in the state right now. So, and I said, at what? And then he said, everything. You're killing it. You're just on top. Like, the past couple months, you've been, you've been killing it. And I was like, past couple months. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no, so it, it was just he was just having fun you know he's the promoter having fun he no. sold out he sold out the like, he Fuck probably had the best fun. crowd of brother he all the like emotions. he looked at me directly in the eyes didn't <sighs> stutter one fucking time he wasn't and, all the way there you know out brother brother alcohol okay <laughs> I say a lot of shit too, but I've never said that to somebody before about an accomplishment that they've won. He clearly he likes you, <laughs> but like don't, don't why do that? Don't I, I'm just hard. saying that shit is weird. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. I don't. That would be like, look, if we took Steve, Steve, shouts out to Steve Rivera. If we take everything these promoters says seriously, then we would fucking we wouldn't work anywhere. Well, to be fair, a lot of <laughs> some promoters want you to take everything they say seriously. You gotta weed them out, brother. Figure them out. But, uh... Man, we don't know, brother. We're just some pieces of shit doing a podcast. Well, speaking of pieces of shit, we're gonna get... Oh, uh, no, nah, fuck that, brother, because oh, we, got we got one more thing on oh, a lighter okay. note because I got something to bring the episode okay. down. Okay. By the way, Jeremiah, I don't hate you. I know you're watching this. I don't hate you. Yeah, on the like, phone he said, uh, have fun with film and I can't wait to watch. Yeah, so. no, like, I don't hate you. I just thought that that shit was weird as fuck. But anyways, I'm trying this strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper because you've had it. Yeah, I, he came and over and said we were gonna do this on the podcast. I'm like, oh, I thought you would have definitely drank this already. I am surprisingly the last person to have drank in this. I should have brought mine because it's still in the fridge. I just drank some of it. Oh, well, go, go get it, brother. It's fine. I, I drank Hell it. Hell nah, for the bit. Alright. Be right back. <laughs> We're not going to cut this either. Yes, we are going to cut this, actually. So, man, I'm going to be so mad if I spent, like, $2.50 and well, this is trash. Smell it first. I mean, it smells like it tastes good. But you, so the reason why you're doing this is because you, you are very famous for loving Dr. Pepper. And your bio Big Dr. Said, Pepper guy. It says you might be addicted or something like that. Well. What, uh... Allegedly. What Dr. Pepper do you like? Do you like regular ass Dr. Pepper? Do you uh, like cream soda? Do you like vanilla? I don't mind cream soda. If it's there, I'll drink it. But your favorite is regular. My favorite is, yeah, just regular. Okay, because me personally, I'm, I'm not like the biggest, like huge Dr. Pepper fan like him. But me personally, I do like strawberries and cream. But I prefer the regular Dr. Pepper. Really? Yeah. So you're saying this is bad? No. <laughs> not at all. All right. Yeah, try it. Well, here's to it. Ooh. That's pretty good. Like, yes, I'm not mad at that at all. Also, too. Um, but anyway, so do you like it better or worse than uh, regular Dr. Pepper? It's better than regular cream soda. Okay. Dr. Pepper. Okay. I think that's the worst one, besides, like, diet. So, for the rest of the episode, we're going to give out a few KTB awards and give some wild and crazy predictions. That's right. So, brother. our three categories are ourselves, yep. Michigan Indies, mm -hmm. and Mainstream. Right. So, we're going to start with, well, first of all, welcome to the KTB Awards! Yay, Yay. Second Ooh. annual, I think? 
Well, we did the greenies last time. This is the this is KTV. the greenies, right? Well, it's not only green. Though. No, yeah, it's not only green. <laughs> this yeah. is the the KTB what? KTB Awards. Oh, okay. Just yeah. so the first one we're gonna give out is gonna be uh, the tag team of the year. So oh, okay. So um, I'll go first. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the mainstream tag team of the year, I gotta give it to FTR. Because I feel like they always have the best matches. I like the way they wrestle. Sorry, a domestic case. Yeah, happening. somebody. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to laugh. I was, I was, I was laughing. At, <laughs> cut this out. <laughs> cut this out. <laughs> cut. Now nah, you gotta cut, leave it in. Cut it, Dean. You gotta leave it. Cut it, it Dean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was it was probably okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. FTR yeah, yeah, because yeah, I like yeah, the way they yeah, wrestle yeah. in their matches. Yeah. Who's your mainstream tag team of the year? Mine was also FTR. Sweet. I know people think that I don't like you know solid like just wrestling in general, but yes, I do like FTR. FTR and like their match with the Briscoes. Yes. Fucking their whole series with the Briscoes. Dog. Shouts out to the Briscoes. Yeah. Hey, rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. Rest by the in way, peace, yes. I was a big. Ring of Honor fan. Yeah, I I was a big fan in like 2015, 2016. Uh, but uh, the tag team, Michigan Indies tag team of the year, who'd you give it to? Oh, I wanted you to go first. Okay. Um, Because this is just personal, right? Or is this in Michigan Indies in general? Michigan Indies did ourselves because we were in multiple teams. Oh, shit, I didn't do one this one so actually i already michigan in these times of the year i'm i it's i think we're getting up there we're getting more tight teams now but like last year at the beginning we didn't really have that many uh i gave it to actually a rival of mine midwest scum midwest scum because they're legit and like i don't know like i just feel like they're just a legit tag team and they if they won the title at any promotion, I, nobody like they can beat any team, and nobody will like bat an eye. They they put on awesome matches. They always do like fun promos. They they actually be together. Like I like them. Matching gear. All yeah. That shit. Well, so far we're fucking two for two. Cause <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also was gonna say Midwest. <laughs> so fucking all right. There we go. Fucking right. everybody knows big Dread King guy, big Zach Thomas guy. Yeah. Love the fucking pose. Yeah. Hell yeah. And yeah. our our own tag team. So we are in KTB. Yeah. Uh, critical content. I was in. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, critical content. I was maximum muscle, and yes. then Cobra me and Kai. Tanner. Cobra Kai at the beginning of the year. Yeah, Cobra Kai at the very start. Um, Go ahead. Ooh, if I had to pick. Oh, and the Bubba Appreciation Society. I know you said maximum muscle, but uh, don't forget the Bubba Appreciation Society. Oh, yeah, me and Tanner. <laughs> you know, if I had to pick, like... Just, hmm. Well, it's fucked up because, like, my time in Cobra Kai got cut kind of short. And I felt like me and Marcus were really, like, starting to find something right around the time I broke my ankle. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, me and Lamario, when I feel like we were starting to gel more, he also, yeah. like, got injured. Yeah. So, honestly, I'll probably say just... KTB in general, brother. Just because, like, us as, like, fuck a tag team. As a group in general, we've just won a bunch of titles <laughs> <laughs> this year. And, like, last year. Or, yeah, last year. And, like, it was. I never thought that we'd fucking do anything with this. And here the fuck we are. This is shit. Hey, like, fucking. I'm over as your friend, so this is fucking <laughs> sweet for me. Uh, so I I was just gonna pick between Critical Content and KTB. I I will say like I was really happy with both teams, both factions team with you at first, and then that turned into a faction at F U F U. Um, Critical Content loved it. Won titles like um, me and Kyler won titles, and KJ and Ryan joined DTA and we had a nice storyline at where we were together and separate and two and two like we had matches together it was awesome and KTB 
uh, is my answer. I pick KTB as my tag team of the year because uh, we started in 2021 going against each other God, over and every over. every fucking show. We kept going against each other and then... Uh, I mean, we got made fun of for our matches, oh said that God. they were killing yeah. the business. Yeah. And that's when we made the podcast. Out of pure spite. We just kept getting, and we post something that we thought was cool and people commented, the TJ Elbow, mm-hmm. let's not forget. We, the we spot both with thought, the buckle. Yeah, we both thought that spot was cool. So much stuff. And, and then just we just said, we're just going to start killing the business. Because killing the business, what it means, at least to me, is just about like not caring what people think and just having fun. And we got over the TJ elbow. But who would have yeah. thought a rolling elbow could get so over? Whenever someone does a rolling elbow, you know, Ryan Mathias told me, he said, whenever he sees an elbow, he thinks of me, especially a spinning one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then the podcast got over. People mm-hmm. always message us. Somebody messaged me today. When is the next podcast coming out? Then, you know. I don't know. I just feel like it got a lot of stuff over. And then fucking Adam Wick later ended up joining. Joining. It became a faction and stuff like that. Like yeah. We, we were... Oh, let's not forget, that group had a different name at one point. Yeah, I remember when people thought every... Like, were pe- saying that people would hate this. Yeah. But that's my answer is... Uh, KTB. Yeah. Alright, moving on to All moment right. of the three year. Three for three so far. Oh, that's true. Fuck. We're probably Mo- off on this one. Moment of the year. Yeah. So, uh, for... Oof, it was so much shit mainstream that happened, but I had to give moment of the year to freaking Vince McMahon stepping down... That was insane. I was going to give it to the brawl out and all out with CM Punk and all that stuff, but I had to give it to Vince McMahon because Vince McMahon's leaving WWE is insane. So that was my answer. See, I I had brawl out too, but that is actually way bigger. <laughs> like, because he left, like, and then just said, yep, fuck it, I'm coming back. And well, then that, he came back. Yeah, that was this year. And I'm like, oh my God. And it was so crazy. We're going to do some wild, crazy presentations predictions for 2023 after this and someone on a podcast said that they predict that Vince McMahon will come back and force the sale of WWE and it happened in the first month in the first month I mean I know it's not sold yet but he's trying to yeah but uh crazy but Michigan crazy. Indies moment of the year uh, I know you were having trouble with this one but I, I know my answer for this yeah one. man because Michigan Indies is fucked in the most beautiful way <laughs> because all of its biggest moments are like you know bad shit yeah Mark Vengeance is that yeah, like, <laughs> yeah like the only time anyone wants to talk about shit is when it's about drama yeah but like so if I had to give it to just like fucking something good that I like really enjoyed seeing I really like the fucking KJ fucking like emergence over the summer like the dive the dive the KJ dive that shit because oh I wanted to do that shit so bad Michigan Indies moment and like I couldn't cause it was a big I'd moment. fucking kill myself there's no way I'd, fu- I'd completely fucking miss that was a great moment I wasn't like, at that show actually oh yeah, yeah. you were you were at IPW you right you on a boat <laughs> like, but um I gave it that was a good pick that was Probably my second choice. My other, it was either that or just in time return. So yeah, that was, that was not good. a not a hard one. Yeah, my Michigan moment of the year was actually Jack Price getting signed, winning gut check, and going to um, Impact. Jack Price and Jason Hodge, two Michigan indie wrestlers, got signed. Well, that would was, you say that that's a mainstream thing now? I mean, it was. Mich- they were Michigan indies wrestlers until they got signed yeah another now. mainstream yeah so I, I see Jason Hosh like just in fucking the oh my god highlight moments <laughs> like it's yep. weird I just see like them Jack Price Shogun mm-hmm. just people I know yeah that's so cool it's what's crazy your, what's your personal moment of the year for this 2022 my personal moment of the year that I did just because like it was so like monumental for me and it kind of just changed everything when I look back on it was me turning on LJ and Marcus and Wolf that was a great moment it was like the shield like I look back on it and everything about it was perfect but in the moment so like I was 
that was like my f first, no, it was my third one-on-one -on -one match back. First one back in Metro Pro. And I was, like, that whole day, I was so fucking nervous. Like, I was just a fucking wreck on the inside. And then, like, right before my music hits, I'm just having a panic attack mm -hmm. for that match. And then, like, they all went out for me. And it was a super cool gesture because they started a chant for me. And thankfully, people went along mm -hmm. with it because they liked me at this time. And, like, came out, had the match. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved us. And it was cool. And I was like, oh, yeah. It's like, this is going to suck later when I fucking turn on these fuckers, but then it happened, and I got so hyped up that I forgot to throw the chair at LJ, and instead I just fucking hit him with it, <laughs> just over the head, which, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't know that part. My moment of the year, so it was a lot, like, it was, it was hard to choose one moment, mainly, um, so, like, I got picked by Mark Ross, uh, so a few that I was choosing from was getting picked by Mark Ross for Proving Ground, because I really wanted him to, I actually wanted him to be my vet, and he actually did pick me. But yeah, he could have picked some other people. There was two other people left, and he picked me, so that was cool. Being in the final two with KJ, or the bottom two, that was so emotional for, like, a lot of people. Like, that video is so, like, insane. Being in the, like, me and KJ had just had a match. I think we were, like, about to have a match, something, but he was been my tag partner all year, and then one of us was about to get eliminated. It was just so sad. Winning a ladder match, winning that Heritage title, winning the TV title at NWCW. I won a Metro Pro title at NWCW. That was then winning the tag title at UPW with you. It was it was a lot. Or even Horace Slam with Kyler. But the one that I picked was actually winning the Metro Pro TV title at NWCW because. I didn't know that was going to happen, and it just, one, two, three, and then the look, like, me and ABZ come in eye contact, because I'm like, holy shit, what just happened, and we're just staring at each other, and I was a heel in that match, I cut a heel promo, I talked about the crowd, I was a heel, and when that three count hit, the crowd cheered, like, loud, and I, me and ABZ are just staring at each other, and then eventually he just goes, it gives me a wink. And I'm like, oh my God. And I go to the locker room and all y'all are like smiling and clapping. And I was like, oh, this was so nice. That was and, my like, Nobody knew it was going to happen, though. <laughs> I, remember, like, I remember seeing it and I'm like, oh my fucking God. Like, I, for some reason, I just knew that that was supposed to, like, I didn't know you were supposed to win, but when you pinned him, like, for some reason, I'm like, I don't know what move you hit. But you did something, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the finish. And then it was, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's the finish. It was insane. Like, it was just a fucking, that was a great moment. So All-around banger year for you. You've won, like, what, nine fucking titles <laughs> I in won one year? Not in one year since I've been wrestling, but thank you. Banger year for you, too. Um, next up is the match of the year. Oh, uh, yes. So, I'll go first. My mainstream match of the year, number one, is actually, I think this is the answer. It probably, I don't know, I it kind of, I don't, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of the mainstream from that year, but I think it's Walter versus Sheamus at Clash at the Kingdom, Kingdom something, whatever show that was. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. But I just NXT love, UK? Not NXT, but it, they were inside of the UK, I think. But... That they just it was just super hard hitting and I just fucking loved that match so much. You? Mainstream? Uh, mine was Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. Didn't that happen this year? Oh shit that did. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. No. God damn it. Uh, this year. Alright, uh fuck it. Any Ome any match Kenny Omega had. <laughs> fuck. He didn't it. have that many last year, actually. Exactly. He did not have that so many. there, short pool to choose from. Just pick the best one out of that. And my match of the year for Michigan Indies is actually Jason Osborne, Trey McGill at IWR. They had a few. I think it's number two. Trey won it. Not the one Jason won. Trey won it. That match is amazing. Look it up if you if you can. Any Jason Hodgers Trey McGill match, really. They even wrestled on Impact last year. Well, I just wrote down any match that Hotch or Wick had. <laughs> and that's for real. You could, you could look. I can't see anything. Well, brother. <laughs> you can't fade, but I, don't, I can't see it. But uh, uh, 
it ain't your own match. Well, I'll say mine. Oh, mine. I'll say mine. Oh, yeah, mine was it. actually uh, me versus Isaiah Moore inside of, I think it was March or April. Oh, that was March because I remember the car ride home was so shitty because you had such a good match and like I didn't want to kill your vibe or anything, so I just wasn't talking because I was so sad. Why? Because I shattered my shit that oh. like, <laughs> right after, like literally, your match happened, then the LJ thing happened, intermission, my match <laughs> shatter my shit, Damn, and that whole I'm car just ride. Realize, I'm just knowing this right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you no. not, dog. So that he, whole car right over. He has such a shitty match. I mean, such a great match. <laughs> no, no, because you were talking about the match, and I was just sitting there, like, crying because I'm in so much pain. You were and crying? I, yeah, because I'm in so much fucking pain, and that was before I smoked anything. I was completely sober, and I was in so much pain. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Like, yeah, like, tell, tell me something else. Like, <laughs> Like I was like, oh yeah, what was the finish again? <laughs> like, oh yeah, that was real cool, man. I'm I'm so happy, and then that's, I just said insane. nothing. That's also, insane. this is beeping. Okay, well, how many what minutes are we at? Oh, now it's not beeping anymore. What minute? How many, how long are we at? Eighteen thirty. Okay, sweet. Okay. Let's just turn it off. Yeah. yeah okay, so we got a twenty minute time limit. But yeah, man, I was so, so that was so sad. And your match right. of the year? My match of the year was Wick versus me. At FU. That was a good match. That was a good match. Because even though I was so completely out of, like, my element in that moment. That could have been F FU was match of the year. It was really good. I don't know, dog. They they had some. Yeah, they have. FU has had some really good matches. But, yeah, but dog, that one was really good, too. Considering how thrown off I was, aside, like, in the beginning I had it, and then the rest of the match I didn't, but like it was still really, really good and I wouldn't really I wouldn't change anything about it. Yeah. Superstar of the year. Now we're obviously not gonna talk about ourselves. Oh yeah, no. So mainstream miss. and uh Michigan yeah. Indies. Uh I'll go first. My my superstar of the year for uh mainstream is John Moxley. John Moxley because he's he's super super reliable when AEW always has their their issues <laughs> he always can come in he always has like super good matches um and like, I don't know he's just he's just great like I I personally out of Blackpool Combat Club am more of a Brian Danielson guy but John Moxley is super up there that's my boy yeah I feel you um you know hey I think you're kind of like similar to John Moxley you should tape study him really. More. Yeah, you should tape study him. Hmm. I will. But anyways, so it's really hard for me this year because uh, there's a lot of wrestlers that I really like personally. So I'm going to have to put my bias aside. But if I completely put my bias aside, I think that I'm going to have to go with Omos. <laughs> Omos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't watch WWE. Maybe he's been doing something super good. Bro, he's fucking rocket dog. Breakout star, Omos. If he watches cameos, those are I the I knew you were about to say ever. something that wasn't Bro. right. Alright. But anyways, so... No, we're on a 20-minute time. No, my, you say my Otis? Wrestler, no, my wrestler Omos? of the year, actually, my wrestler of the year, actually, is Kenny Omega. He barely was there. He wasn't Look. there. Year. What? <laughs> well, look, dog. Yeah, like I'm not matches. putting my personal bias aside. Fuck y'all. This award's going to Kenny Omega yeah, like because Kenny matches, Omega's baby. cool. What? And they were all really good. Okay, that's your answer. I'm sorry. I should not judge your answer. You're, you're entitled to your opinion. That's that's cool. Yes. Yeah. So Kenny Omega, come on the show and get your award, please. Superstar of the year for Michigan Indies. Ah, uh, damn. This was a toss-up between three people. Okay. And even then, I still don't know, because for different reasons, I can pinpoint, like, all three of them. So you go first. Yeah, I don't even have an answer yet. I'm just sitting here thinking. Oh, I, have no, okay. I have no idea what you well, just said. Well, fuck it. Let's talk about this then. Okay. Well. Because my three okay. were Jason Hodge. Take him out. He's, he's signed. Oh, so they can't be signed? <laughs> yeah, take them out. Okay, so my two <laughs> were Adam Wick or uh -huh. ABZ. I was 
thinking ABZ too. <laughs> I, 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 Adam Wick was an obvious Leader answer. Leader of our fucking group. No, here, Adam sir. Wick was an obvious answer, but, but somebody yeah. I was thinking, like, I was like, oh, ABZ had a really good year. Like, really good. And I don't know. Like, they both. I remember done. when he, I remember I watched his first match uh, as a fan. Yeah, but. Yeah, they're both really good. I remember um, the first also, ABZ match I ever saw was ABZ versus Geo Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even talk about Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's not a lie. <laughs> Can I, wait, wait a second. At FU, Preston shouts out to him, shook my hand, and he said, Hey, just want to let you know I'm done with Sip Wrestling. <laughs> I thought you were going to spit that out when I said that. But he said, I just want you to know I'm done with Sip. I've never once talked to him about Sip at all. But he just wanted to let me know. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, Adam Wick, ABZ. I was also thinking Mark Ross. He returned and like he killed it inside yeah. of FU for a long time. He's killing it at Grizzly Pro. He's Big putting all these people entrance. over. Yeah, That entrance, I mean, fuck. That ain't His getting match over. With Jordan Holt. Yep. Very good. That entrance ain't getting over with everybody, but like everyone that does it. But when Mark Ross does it, it gets over. So yeah. like, um, so Mark Ross. So ABC, who are we, we placing? Because we can put this together since we don't, we both don't have an answer. Uh, who? Um, I feel like it's, if it's not if it's people that's not signed, then we can't say Jack Price either. Yeah, so. yeah, no, 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 Jack Price or Shogun. Nope. Uh, Red Jones, he's on AEW. He's not signed? He's on AEW and WWE every time they come to town. I thought he was signed. I, <laughs> I thought he was signed. <laughs> hey, he has a dynamite record at All right. this point. All right, like, we, got, we got to speed things up, so we'll just say it at the same time. All right. Three, two, one, Adam, Adam Wick. Wick. All okay, right, there cool. we go. Adam All Wick. All right, Adam Super Wick, come pick here. up your award. Yeah. Now. Now, from the best wrestler of the year... To the Jack, Jack Price, Price Biggest oh, Dick of the Year Award. Yeah! Let's go. All right. Yes. Here you go. So, All right. So. We don't have an answer, but Max has some nominees. And yeah. Like so them. some nominees. I feel like a big qualifier for this award is that you have to have won the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week Award. Okay. So, so not many people. Yeah. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember a lot of people. Mm. So like I just wrote down a couple names. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I wrote down Alex Weir. Okay. For one. Because I think we did give him one. Yes. I did uh, Stitches McVeigh because he was in a I lot of those. I didn't give him no. We didn't give him no. We didn't give him one? No. <laughs> oh, no. We just. What was the one where we talked about his beef with Donald Holland? I don't know. <laughs> but we didn't give him that okay, damn one. Okay, we didn't award. give him one? Fuck. Okay, now you got me second guessing myself. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, fuck that. Qualified. I know who I want to give it to, but I also do don't want to give I, it to. I don't want to put them on my podcast. I got a bunch of people that I can list off right now. Go ahead and list them. Well, like, okay, now that you put me on the spot, I'm not going to be able to biggest do it. Biggest dick of the year. Who was the biggest dick all year? Like, who was the shittiest bitch <laughs> just the entire year? Like, they woke up and they said, how can I ruin someone's day today? Nate Matson. <laughs> Why? I've never heard someone swallow spit so loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why the fuck would you say that? God damn it. No, that was a yeah, joke. I should have fucking known it was coming because you haven't fucking mentioned them all show. That was a joke. That was, yeah, a, that joke. was a joke. Um, um, you know, uh, who? who right. TJ Meyer? I was going to say just in time because he did come back and like fucking. Remember when I said I didn't want to put this person on my show? Oh, he can cut that. <laughs> yeah, he can cut that. I will give a fuck. Cut it. I, we won't put it on the you show. Know, you already said it now, so. We're going to give... We'll just bleep it. Jack Price, biggest dick of the year award. Unfortunately, last time we mentioned him, he decided to go live and make 
a big thing about us. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Actually, now I'm glad we said his name because this is this is what is crazy, right? So I didn't know that that happened. Me right? neither until so many people messaged me about yeah. it. So I still have not All-Stars. seen it. I haven't seen it. Me neither because I don't care enough. But like we Pro Wrestling All-Stars. Yeah, okay. We're having time yeah. for it. Pro Wrestling All-Stars was the next too day. too much time on him. Gotcha. Pro Wrestling All Stars was the next day. I walk up to him, shook his hand, and he said nothing to me. That's like he he just said, "Oh hey, how you doing?" And I said, "Oh good. How are you?" And he said, "Good." And I walked away. What? So I don't know. KTBK, KTB, killing the business, killer. That's what he said on the thing. And the reason why I know this is because so many people messaged me, including Bubba. <laughs> promoter of <laughs> Trip Pro told me, hey, uh, Justin Time called you out. Like, so many people. Fuck Justin Time. All right, this is all here. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be looking for the live. I'm not going to watch it, but um, I will be looking. You'll for see it. me. You'll see me at NWCW. If you have something to say, you can come up to my face. Uh, instead of, I mean, I said on a podcast, come up to my face and then see it to me in person. Or you can message me, find uh, one of your friends to message me and. I can come to your house, your address, or you can come to mine. I don't mind. Anyway, I don't want him fucking coming over here. Touche. You want? I will give you an address for us to meet. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't care enough, dog. You, know, you, you, you've already kind of burned that bridge with me, dog. Like, well, you're, you're gonna have to give Forever Young an apology before you even, psh, brother. Yeah, dog. Like I. I don't know, dog. Congratulations but. on winning this award. This is probably the biggest award you'll win in your career or lack thereof. Goddamn. We will move on. It's or a wild 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, the predictions. What? How long are we at? We're at 10 minutes, so we got 10 more minutes. Bro. Yes, so yes. Let's speed it up. So I have three or two? Two? Uh, I thought it was three. Okay. So a prediction I have for myself is Forever Young will win Yet another tag team title. <laughs> I've won seven so far, and I think I'm going to win. A- Ooh, to make it wild, I'm going to say with another tag partner. So it won't Ooh. be with the one that I already won with. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you can't say Dean now then. No, no. Yeah, I won. T- wow, I won that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it happened literally yesterday. So I will not win. I will win another tag title. It won't be with AVZ, Max, Keegan, Dean, Kyler. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be with any of them. KJ? Nah, I haven't won a title with KJ. Um, me, but that's one for me. me. I won a couple of them twice, so that's okay, why it's yeah, like that. Fair. But uh, that's one for me. Okay, I have... For yourself? Oh, these are just in general. Okay. Uh, I have The Great Tiger gets signed. Oh, okay. I got a signed one, too, next. Yeah, and then my second one... Was Wick wins a world title? Another F- world title. It has to be a second. Oh yeah, we were yeah. just at F. <laughs> yeah, it was two I already days ago. forget that. It's two okay, days well, ago. Well, he wins another. And one. He is a great world champion. Yeah, honestly, is that really a wild prediction that he will win? <laughs> I mean, I feel <laughs> we like we just gave him superstar of the year. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. No, that's know. good. That's good though. My uh, next one is actually that. Ren Jones will get signed this year. Ooh, that's a really good one. Mm-hmm. And you? Mine is ABZ wins the Metro Pro world mm-hmm. title. Okay, sweet. And so you know what, I'm going to put a cap well, on this. Specifically Metro Pro. Yeah, I'm going to put a cap on this and say in less than six months. Wow, Jesus. Yeah. There you go. There's my bold prediction. Um, Another uh bold prediction I have. So... I don't really know how to word this one because I heard that PPW had like thousand people in the crowd. Yeah, like two thousand. Jesus Christ! Had to wrestle there. I was gonna say Combat One will become Michigan's number one promotion. Really? It will overtake whatever we think number one is right now. I yeah. think they're killing it. They're doing yeah. really good. Yeah, and we're not. Are we gonna say who we think is number one? Because number one. Promotion, I don't cause I think it's IWR. Who do you think it is? I don't know, cause a lot of promotions are kind of snapping off lately. Yeah, like Metro drew three hundred, and WCW drew four hundred. Fu drew however many that bar can hold. Yeah, sold out the bar. 
So like, there's a lot of shit that's Isn't actually that All Stars we did. That yeah, was it was that was the best All Stars All-Stars crowd I've ever seen. That was and the they are All Star show. Like, ever. I wrestled there yesterday. That crowd, the Michigan is actually going up with their crowd. Yeah, man. Like, as much as people talk shit, Horror about, Slam broke the damn record too. Yeah. So like, a lot of places are really ramping up. Yeah. So, so what do you think's number one right now? I don't even know. Okay. I'll just go with. IWR because I've seen their matches on Impact. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, um, um, my next prediction is that another Michigan wrestler or Ohio, like, so, like, I count Sam Beal as a Michigan wrestler too because okay. he's like, that's fair. Right there. Uh, specifically, I think Sam Beal or Isaiah Moore, but I'm gonna just say another Michigan indie wrestler will win Gut Check this year. If there is one this year. I don't know how often they do it, but it's, it's one of them. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, I got... Hold on, my phone just fucking... I got Nate Matson wins the Pro Wrestling All-Stars World title. I can definitely can see that happening, 100%. I guess, is that a wild prediction? I mean, it's a specific one. That's fair. <laughs> I, I got it, that's cool. Um, yeah, that that's all of mine. Yeah, and uh, that's all mine, too. All right. Enough of that. It's yeah. time. Oh, and leave comments of your crazy predictions for 2023. What do you think? Specifically, Yeah. for us, for mainstream, and for Michigan Indie Wrestling. Let or us maybe know. not for us, because they might be mean. You care if they're mean? Well, like, I we, don't want to see the, that we shit. We got the pen. We just delete it. Actually, you know what? That's true. <laughs> I could just not open my phone. Yeah, or you look at it, and you say... Delete. True. That uh, thing's counting down. I think we gotta go home. What number is it? It's, it's like number? stuck at one. Now it's at zero. Well, once again, we did not stick within our time. Yes, so we have to go home. Yeah, we gotta take it home soon. It's so. time to put Let somebody over here. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, uh, so. um... Alright, so I would like to put over Marcus Porter. Yay! Because Marcus is really good and everything he does is fucking entertaining. And I think more people should book him. Shouts out to Marcus because he Shouts also has Marcus. like a new look and mm -hmm. it looks really, really good. And awesome. he's a black platinum. Make sure you always yeah. say black platinum, Marcus yeah. Porter. Hell yeah. And he's in the final three of Proving Ground, too. Hell yeah. He might win. He Who might knows? win. I don't mean to step on your. You guys are final, too. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> um. And oh, she wasn't prepared either. Uh, who talked about uh, So for the first time ever, for every young not prepared for this segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just thought of somebody to put over. I'm putting over one of my great, great friends for over two years. Top Gun. Oh. Yeah, Top Gun. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Great wrestler, great person, loves Dr. Pepper. Got a pretty cool girlfriend, pretty cool tag partner. Pretty cool, yep. pretty cool all around. Yep, pretty good wrestler. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's who I'm putting over this 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 episode. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. But that's it for this yeah. week's edition of KTV. Make sure you leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, and share it on all social media. Share all of our socials. Until next time, guys. Catch you later. How long was that? That was, uh, we went two minutes over. <laughs> yep, even when we're not rushing, two minutes over. <laughs>